Biggest story of the week, Bill. Yeah, there are two. I mean, and they all come under, both of them come under the overarch of not a good 13 days for Joe Biden <laughs> right. in the right. first part of 2023. So uh, this document thing, this is overhyped. I mean, both men don't have the concentration span to go through documents and boxes. Um, in my opinion, my humble opinion, uh, they didn't know what was going on. They just had people pack up stuff for them and put it. So neither of them, because you have to have intent, you have to prove intent um, to remove classified information, and uh, no special counsel is going to be able to do that for either Trump or Biden. So that'll go away. But Trump is a happy guy because now, I mean, he's inoculated against oh, any yeah. kind of unilateral action. Correct. Um, and uh, Hillary Clinton did worse stuff, by the way, than either of these two guys. Oh, she should absolutely be in prison for what she did. She had intent. She had people go into the skiff and cut top secret off of the top and yeah. then fax it to her. That, and then destroyed yeah. evidence. But I wouldn't put yeah. her in prison. I, I would. would have a work release program where she'd have to work for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. That would be punishment but, for well, me. That, but that, Hillary, what else? What worse could you do to her? I know. Then she has to show up at the blaze every I, day. I know. I know. Okay. All right. And so then so the hang second, on just a second. Hang on just a second. Go ahead. Um, does this story tell you anything about... The media as well. The media just keeps digging their hole deeper and deeper and deeper. There is no credibility left at all. Well, the orders from the networks, not cable, different. The orders from the network presidents, uh, an NBC guy was just fired this week, by the way, right. um, to the correspondents of the White House where you better ask tough questions. I know that to be true. So they were actually ordered not to ask, to ask to ask tough questions from uh, Miss uh, Jean Pierre, they were ordered to ask the tough questions. Yes. They were asked. Well, that's they were ordered different. because the straits are so dire, particularly at CBS News, which is uh, below five million in viewing now. Oh my! Gosh. I mean, I routinely did that on the Factor. On, I know. You know, and like that, I did more than Nora O'Donnell was doing uh, now. But the other two are, are listing too. Um, so they were ordered, all of them were ordered by the presidents of the news divisions to ask tough questions, whereupon John Pierre simply doesn't answer them. I will tell you that one of the things, the most disturbing part of this story is, uh, you know, top secret documents, that's a danger. But that man driving his Corvette was shocking and, it was and a so bigger danger. It was so inappropriate for the president of the United States to start singing Little Deuce Coop. I mean, just so bad. You know, bad. you got to take this seriously. So bad. Right. When he said yesterday, you know, uh, hey, I keep him in my garage and it's locked. My Corvette yeah. is in there. That yeah. is so unbelievably flippant. Just so bad. <laughs> so bad. But see, Beck, you think he knows what he's saying. <laughs> That's what he, he doesn't know what he's saying. I mean, it's just he can't put stuff into perspective. It's kind of like stew. You know, you, you, <laughs> Wait. you say stuff, mm -hmm. and then, you know, stew reacts, but does he really understand the big picture here? So Biden doesn't know what the big picture is. All Biden knows is... Hey, at least he knows um, your name, Stu. That's true. At least he knows your name. <laughs> <laughs> All Biden knows is that there's trouble. He doesn't really know why there's trouble, he, and then he goes, well, we told the National Archives right away when we found it, November 2nd. Uh, um, yeah, and you didn't tell the public for two and a half months. I right. think that's a cover-up. Right, right. And this right. last batch in his garage, they knew on December 20th and never said anything until and it yesterday. Was really inappropriate, Beck, <laughs> for Biden to offer the new special counsel a ride in the car. Right. That's he, not... Well, what we should be doing here. turn the key mr biden um let me uh let me ask you bill why what's going on here because you don't usually out yourself so what's happening why is this story out and happening right now because the media has nothing else to talk about now that the idaho murder thing has been solved with the guy in custody so 
I'm not diminishing the fact that Trump and Biden had no blanket idea of what documents were being removed from their respective offices. I'm, I'm not diminishing that. But I can see it because neither man has a concentration span to go over documents. I mean, you imagine Donald Trump packing boxes. No, yeah, but those those documents, happen. he may not know that they were there now, but those documents were taken when, you know, from when he was a uh, vice president. This is Biden. Right. Biden, right. And, and then the right wing is making a big deal out of this, that Trump had the power to declassify and Biden didn't. So Biden is right, right. much more heinous. But it doesn't matter. OK, none of this matters because nothing's going to happen. It's just an embarrassment Right now, for See, Biden, that's a, he doesn't so, need that. Now, so, let me get to the other. Wait, 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 wait. One more thing story. on this. This is the this is the biggest problem with this story. I think is that it doesn't matter. Top secret matters, or it doesn't. And the um, the worst thing that could be done is it's just become well, they did it, and well, he did it, and then I did it, and well, mine was different than yours, and that's why nobody's paying attention to any of these scandals. Because everyone knows uh, nothing's going to happen. All right. Nothing's, nothing's going to be gonna done. Happen. Nothing's nope. going to be done. Nope. Yep. And that's the way we have a corrupt federal government. Correct. Okay. Correct. And when you have a corrupt system, there isn't any sense of fairness or justice because it's corrupt. Correct. Look up the definition of corrupt. Correct. All right. Correct. Correct. So that's where we are. But but let me get into the, the second. second one. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Yeah. Because it, and this is worse than the document for Biden. The three amigos down in Mexico City, Oof. and the media underplayed this um, big time um, because the media doesn't want to tell the truth about what the situation is in Mexico. So remember the South Park episodes, Blame Canada? Yes. This is Blame Mexico, and I'm writing a column. It'll be on BillOReilly.com on Sunday noon. Mexico is the problem here for the United States. All right, not little Justin Trudeau. He doesn't matter. But Mexico is the problem. Two reasons. 44% of the Mexican population lives in poverty. 44%. So what do you expect them to do? Exactly right. They're going to come here. Mm-hmm. Okay? And Mexico is the most violent country on earth. On Say, earth. Uh, yeah. Okay, wait. Over like Afghanistan and Yes, it's wow. way worse than Myanmar or or China. 66,000 people last year were either murdered or disappeared in Mexico. 66,000. In America, which has three times as many people as Mexico, we had 23,000 homicides. Wow. When you have that level of violence, all right, that the government cannot control, then you look at, well, who's doing it? The drug cartels are running the country. Correct. Correct. All right. So Obrador standing there with Biden and little Justin Say, so, oh, we're equal partners, and we're yet the re- It's a bunch of garbage. All of our immigration and narcotics problems are caused by Mexico. And no one will tell the truth about that. Obrador cannot control his country. There is no local police in Mexico because the cartel will walk in and say, hey, Jose, you do what we say or we'll kill you and your family. And Jose's making 14000 a year. What do you think Jose's going to do? They dissolved the national police there in Mexico because it was so corrupt. There's no, no law enforcement in that entire country. So therefore, tons of narcotics are sent into the United States, killing hundreds of thousands of people. And Biden sits there going, hey, we're the most secure border ever. It is, that is, talk about corruption and a scandal, and and that is a story. You will never get it from the media. I believe, I believe the government is more than than just tolerating it. The government is in bed now. Oh, sure. With with the bad guys. Of course. Yes. Now, I'm not going to, I'm not going to accuse Obrador of, of taking bribes, but it's not inconceivable. 
It's no. happened before. In and Mexico. it's it's not. I, I'm not saying that, you know, Joe Biden is calling up the drug lords either and saying, hey, we need your help on this. It's just all you have to do is avert your eyes and you are working with them because or you won't call them it. out. Lie about it. They lied about it. All three of them standing there. You know, you th- this and the media goes along with it. Because if you criticize Mexico, you're racist. You're racist. You can't do that. I mean, meanwhile, hundreds of thousands of Americans are dying. The solution to this problem isn't hard. Under the Patriot Act, the U.S. government designates the Mexican drug cartels as terrorists, and we wax them. If you read Killing the Killers, and I know you did, Beck, we have the authority to do that. Because the Mexican drug cartels are killing far more people than Al-Qaeda or ISIS ever did. And they're running wild doing it. And, and no one's going them. to stop them. And we're enriching No them. one. And, uh, yeah, it makes can me I, can, crazy. Can I tell it you, makes me crazy. Can I ask your opinion of what you think of our governor here in Texas? I mean, Ron DeSantis is doing big things in Florida, which... As a Texan, I'm really embarrassed by our state. And he has the ability to rally the country, but he just won't do it. He, he will not stop this in our own state. So you're criticizing him? Oh, yeah, I am. I am. So what do you want him to do? Uh, I want him to do what Ron DeSantis is doing and make very clear stances, be out in front of this, secure our border, whatever it takes, secure our border, Um, use the uh, constitutional language of an invasion. This is an invasion. Texas has fundamentally changed in the last two years. You're going to lose your country. Well, I, I agree with that, but I don't know. The border is so long in Texas that the state doesn't have the personnel to stop this. you telling and then me. And it's hamstrung because it can't go to the border. You know, you know what the, you know what the uh, sheriff of, um, of the county uh, wasn't for worth i can't remember which county um but he said to me uh i said what what happens if they start coming for guns here in texas do you think he said well in my county i deputize every single person in my county and deputies need to have a gun they're not touching guns here that's the texas attitude are you telling me that that texans won't stand up for their own state he could deputize people and actually not just everybody's deputy deputize people, train people, and they would volunteer to seal this border. They would do it. There's enough Americans and Texans here that would do that. Why aren't well, we he's that? never going to do that because the potential for violence there is far too great uh, when you get a, you know, a vigilante force. And no, I'm not talking who, about a vigilante force. Well, I know you're not, but most people who would be deputized are good people and would obey the structure, but there's going to be other people who won't. And, um, you know, so I, under, I understand it, it's a federal problem. And, and in the Constitution, the federal government is in charge unless, of immigration. According to the Constitution, unless the federal government is not responsive. Yeah, but he's already sta- declared a state of emergency in Texas. And, and he's already put resources on the border. Now, maybe the National Guard... Maybe more of them down there um, to embarrass Biden and, and, you know, continue to put the pressure on Biden. But I I told my audience on BillOReilly.com that Biden's not going to do anything about this problem. So you got two more years of them. And and the border problem is not going to be solved in any way by him. He doesn't care about it. He simply doesn't care. It's unbelievable to think that this is true. But it's happened before in our history where we've had presidents allowing unbelievable problems to mount, and they don't care. 